The second step in the compassionate release process is to file a motion in the U.S. District Sentencing Court. This can occur 30 days after the initial request to the warrant is sent. Filing a motion for compassionate release is a fairly simple process, but winning that motion may be more challenging. Many courts grant great leeway for inmates who choose to file compassionate release motions on their own behalf, sometimes even allowing those motions to be submitted in the form of a letter to the court. However, the government response to these motions is never met with the same leniency. Therefore, it is important to be prepared for the inevitable legal battle. Being prepared before you ever file the motion is critical. Make sure that you clearly state a claim for compassionate release that can be proved before the court. This requires a knowledge of court precedent and procedures, as well as an understanding of legal strategy. Depending on the argument presented, it may be important to have copies of medical records, expert witness testimony, progress reports, character letters, copies of certificates, or any other number of documents that prove extraordinary and compelling circumstances exist. From the moment the initial request to staff is received, the government will be taking steps to block the request. The U.S. Attorney's Office will have a team of experienced attorneys working to get the motion denied. It stands to reason that the best chance at success is to have an experienced team fighting against the government to get the motion granted.